Moshe's Tziva Yeshayor, Avi Moshe Oven Bechavli Hashov. They draw the sin with ropes which have no value. Kavos Hagol Achoto. And it's like the rope that binds a wagon. That's the sin has become that. Vamoshe Mechuti Ameshi. And the Chavetz Chaim goes to explain what the Gemara says. It's like a silk strand. Sheikh Vileno Kama Meos Pomim. You multiple, mul have multiples, hundreds of multiples of this thin strand. Especially this sin, which in its own right, we equate it to the three cardinal sins. People transgress this sin, violate it thousands of times during their lifetime. And they, they're not even cognizant. They don't, there's no commitment to be careful not to cross that line. So the damage in the spiritual realm is untold damage. Could you imagine, when you think about the Rabbeinu Yonah speaks about tshuva, the concept of tshuva. And this is why the, you know, Rabbi Shoslan to ask the question, you know, um, the Navi, before the destruction of the first base of Migdor, she goes to the Jews and says, you know, you have to do tshuva. You fail to such a degree, and if not, the base of Migdor is going to be destroyed. So they say, they said to the Navi, we're too far gone, it's too late. There's no way we could come back. And they didn't do tshuva. And as a result of that, the Mesa Mish was destroyed. So we so slanted asks, we, which are not even in tesbul percentage of what they were, as it says, if you classify them as angels, you could classify them as ordinary people. And if you classify them as people, you should classify us as donkeys. And not even the Chamor of Pinchas, Pinchas ben Yoyer. So if that's the case, we, when we hear the shofar, Rosh Chodesh Elul, and we know we have to start saying, Dover Hashem Ori, right away, we already have pangs, or we have stirrings of tshuva within our heart. They would, with a Novi, that the, the Kuzari writes that we can't even fathom, relate to the person who saw a prophet. The Amoritz who saw a prophet, we can't even relate to what that person was. And they, when the Navi speaks to them, they say, we're too far gone, we can't do tshuva. I guarantee you, he was very articulate. He got, he transmitted that message very clearly. And they said, we can't. And us, we hear the sound of the shofar. At the, in, at the beginning of Elul, right away, you know, we, we, we take out our mauser and we start introspecting and we start doing tshuva. Why? So he goes to explain that we, that we have no inkling or understanding what sin means. What's a sin? We did the wrong thing, God will do the right thing. We're not gonna do it again. They were at a level, they saw the ramifications of their sins. They saw the level of destruction it brought about. That, that they destroyed worlds. Could you imagine the example they always give? The atom bomb, atomic bomb falls on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Literally, it's destroyed, meltdown, destruction, not to be understood. And somebody says that if you say these words and you have these feelings, instantaneously it's going to be rebuilt. You say, you know something? You better commit yourself to an insane asylum. You don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Impossible. The members of the first Beis HaMikdash period they understood the levels of destruction they brought about. Endless worlds at a level which you can't bring back. The Navi says, God said there's a mechanism. It's called tshuva. You have true remorse and you commit yourself to the future never to cross that line again. All the worlds we rehabilitated, recreated, even at a more advanced level. They said, you know, Rabbi, it's too, we're too far gone. There's no way. Could you imagine a person's a, a paraplegic, an amputee, he's blind. And they say, you with you take a smell of this fragrance, your feet regrow, you begin function again, and you can dance like nobody danced before. You know, as they used to say, tell it to the Marines. What are you talking about? It's impossible. But that's a reality. Because they understood the levels of destruction and damage, 
and how clogged those arteries were, the pathways that spirituality flows, they said impossible. What do we understand what a sin is? We did the wrong thing. Today you have a person, he embarrasses a person publicly and somebody says, do you realize what you, sh you just did? He says, what did I do? <laughs> Don't you realize you embarrassed him? People are so out of touch of their behavior, but not only, we're so far from understanding the innate negativity uh, and destruction of what that is. I'll give you an example. A person takes a trace of cyanide and he puts it, touches his tongue. He dies instantaneously, in instantaneously. It's so lethal, the body cannot process that. Every whole system shut down. How's it possible? A small, tiny, barely noticeable amount of powder touches your tongue, the do person dies. If you understood the level of lethalness of that particular